I covered pyramid training. Now in this video, I'm going to cover reverse pyramid training. Now with the reverse pyramid training, we see we go up in reps and down in weight. Now the whole point of this is to maximize strength and prioritize it. While we saw in the pyramid training scheme, you would prioritize muscle growth and hypertrophy because you want to tax those type 2 muscle fibers and gain as much growth as possible. While here we are prioritizing strength gains and getting stronger and being able to move up in weight rather than in size. And as, as the pyramid scheme goes, we start at the bottom, then move our way through the top. And we start off with our three rep scheme. Now the whole point of starting with three reps is that you want to start off with as heavy as, heavy as a weight as possible and try get as many reps as possible. Now the whole point of why we start with three is that we have the type one and type two muscle fibers working together to push the maximum amount of load as possible, the maximum amount of weight as possible. Because you want to have all your strength and not be fatigued at all when you go into the set. As soon as you go into the set, you're operating at maximum strength and you're trying to exploit those strength gains. As you move up, then we start to focus on the hypertrophy area of 10 to 12 reps. In this area, you, you're still staying in that um, strength and power range of higher weight and lower reps. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these numbers can change according to how you structure your pyramid training and your goals. If, if your goal is to be something more like a power lifter, you may start with one rep, three reps, five reps, and maybe eight or six reps here. Or if your goal is more towards hypertrophy, but you still want to make those strength gains so you can move up in weight and start accumulating more volume and hypertrophy, you may maybe start off here, maybe four, six, eight, and 12 reps. Right, you have to adjust the rep scheme according to your goals and your needs. And the same goes for any kind of programming or periodization where you have to change the, your rep scheme in order to suit your goals. And as research has shown, periodization is superior to non-periodized programs. So incorporating a, a varying rep scheme within your exercises and sets within your program is shown for more growth and hypertrophy and strength gains as well. So be sure to always incorporate some kind of periodization, whether it's reverse pyramid or a standard pyramid or a linear periodization over a couple of weeks or months. But undulated periodization has shown to have the best results as because as you do it inside your training, you don't lose any of the strength gains or the muscular gains in any week or period. And I'll go through that in another video. Hope you guys learned something useful.